Sometimes when a healthcare worker experiences violence and aggression in the workplace, their life is forever changed. More after this. You or someone in your family may at some time have received care from a home and community care worker. It's their job to come into your home, provide basic health care needs and assistance with everyday living. Home care workers often encounter patients and family in isolated locations and under difficult circumstances. This puts them at risk of violence, something Darlene Simper knows all about. I went to a brand new client. When I arrived there, he was agitated. This is all new to him, so I was checking to see if he had eaten and he, we placed the meal down in front of him and he got up and started throwing plates around and I could tell right that then and there that this wasn't going very well. He hadn't had any pain medication from since the day before. Lee was talking to us and said he wanted to, uh, he couldn't take it anymore and he was going to go get his gun and sat down at the table with it right in his hand, right beside me and I think my first response was, you can't shoot me because who will make my husband dinner? I was trying to, I was shocked, upset. I didn't want to get him upset, but I was trying to be, make it light. And at that point I thought, we need to leave. Like so many healthcare workers who experience violence and aggression, the real impact of this event didn't hit Darlene hardest until after the fact. But I ended up having a breakdown. I couldn't go to work. I couldn't get out of bed, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't speak. I started stuttering, which I've never stuttered in my life. I was afraid to go out in public. I was afraid to be around men. Well, this changed who I am and I will never get that back. Today, Darlene is back at work, but memories of the patient with a gun have had a lasting impact. This gun incident really took the life out of me. I never thought that, that would happen to me at work. People become home care workers because they care. They just want to tend to the needs of the sick and lonely. Yet, unbelievably, they are as likely as police officers to experience violence in the workplace. It's important to remember that our home is their workplace, and it's up to each of us to make sure that that workplace stays safe. For WorkSafe BC, I'm Maria LaRose.